Oh my god, Tumblr, let me, uh, stop giving me notes. I want to start this video already. Boneless bananas? What the fuck? Hi guys, it's Monday again. And that means I'm here to end your Monday. Whether it's by killing it, by giving you something to look at, I don't care. It's kill Monday time. It's Monday. Today I wanted to talk about like something I've been thinking about a lot. Like something I think about uh, uh, quite often. And it's time. I think about time all the time. I don't think about time as a constant. And most people think of time as a line. Just a line. Today I'm going to show you a couple of uh, diagrams, per se, to show you what I think of, of what time is. And I hope you guys get it. If you don't, well then comment and ask me and I'll answer. But this is pretty interesting, at least I think it's pretty interesting. This is what most people think time is. A line that doesn't change, it's just a line. The circle, right here, being the beginning of time and the X being the end of time. Whether that is a million years from now or tomorrow, that is the end of time, right here. I think of time like that too, but in a more complex manner. For me, time is a line that is not changing and everlasting until, well, not everlasting, but just until its time runs out. And to think of time without time would be completely ridiculous. You know what? Play a game. Every time I say time, take a shot. You'll probably end up with alcohol poisoning. You're welcome. This is the original line of time. The timeline that does not change. This is where it started. Boom. Which would be, let's call it the Big Bang. The Big Bang, where everything started and generated from and where we started recording history. So let's call it the Big Bang. And then let's call this the end of the universe. Let's place ourselves right about here. This is us in 2011. No, 2012. We're in 2012. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, 2012. We're in 2012. Okay, so that's us right there. 2012. Not 11. 12. That's our timeline. We were born on that timeline. So now let's make this a little bit more interesting. What if we can go back in time and change a specific event in anywhere in the timeline? So the Holocaust happened 1945. So we go back. We go back to 1945. And we assassinate Hitler. You would think that history would be changed, right? History cannot be changed. History is recorded and unchanging. It cannot be changed. It cannot be replaced. You would just create another timeline that would spread out from 1945. Just like that. The circle being the beginning, the X being the end. And why is that? The original timeline cannot be changed. Events that already happened cannot be erased. If you change an event in the past, you're only creating another timeline with different consequences and a different storyline. But if you go back and you change an event in the past, you're gonna create a multitude of timelines. Maybe in this timeline, the Germans get all crazy because you killed Hitler and they start killing everybody, not only the Jews, and then it's just massive holocaust everywhere and they rule the planet at the end. Let's say that happens. Go back in time and you do that. Now you wanna go forward. You will not return to your original timeline. You will think you did, but you won't. You will go back to the 2012 of your timeline. You change history, right? You will not go back to your original timeline. You will go back to the timeline you created. Let's say you go back in time to try to reverse the thing that you did. You want to change what you did. So you go back and you kill yourself. You killed the self that killed Hitler. So you killed that person. Hitler didn't die. So the original timeline is preserved and this timeline dies out because it never happened but when you did that you created another time for yourself meaning you keep on living on the same line parallel to yours now let's say you change an event in the t new timeline you created 
this will just create a new thing let's say you go back to to 2001 to stop the towers you stop the towers and this creates another timeline and just like that anywhere you go you will just create a new timeline then the original timeline would remain constant and unchanged you just create little branches so for me this is what time is there's an original timeline and then there's branches that branch out from the original because you can't change something that's already recorded I mean you can change the future of the timeline but you cannot change the past of the timeline something that's already been made and already happened it can't be changed time is just a tree it's a tree and then for every action or inaction that we take like oh let's say I don't want to go here so it branches a new one and then that one branches out and then that one this branches and then this branches and branches and branches this is what time looks like to me if there's ever a time time travel time traveling technology this is something that people have to understand if you change something in the past you will never be able to return to your original timeline never the moment you interrupt an action in the original timeline let's say you go back to stop the extension of dinosaurs you go and you stop it you cut the original timeline you cut it and you fragment it a new timeline that you return to you don't return to the original because you cut yourself from it the moment you do that you cut yourself from the original timeline and you're not allowed to go back to it so you create a new timeline with dinosaurs I don't know what the fuck that is I was trying to do a pterodactyl but it didn't work if you go back in time to change something you're not gonna change anything at all you're just creating something new if you guys want me to like extend on this just leave a comment and I'll extend on it because I do have a lot to talk about on this topic. I just wanted to like do a little interesting uh, Monday video to stimulate your brain cells. I don't even know if I made sense, but I did make sense to myself and that's all that matters. I hope you guys have, a, have an awesome Monday. Remember to su subscribe, comment, like. You can follow me on Twitter and Tumblr. Everything's down in the sub bar. I also created a new channel is Mr. John Sapp vlog I'm gonna be putting like videos from my phone in there and probably like somewhere down the line like really 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 far down the line I'm gonna be start putting like daily videos like like my daily life but you wouldn't want to see that my life is boring that channel is pretty much gonna be like videos from my phone and like short videos like that go subscribe to that channel it's gonna be that the link is gonna be down in the sub bar yeah. i'll see you guys next monday